Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be sharing my June TBR with you. As I told you, things have been a little bit nuts on the weekends. I've been really enjoying getting to see so much of my family and catch up and it has been amazing, but I have had like virtually no time to film. May was a little bit of a slower reading month for me, which you will see in my May wrap up video when I film that. I ended up watching like a lot of reality TV. <laughs> But I did get like back into the swing of reading things at the end of May and I ended up finishing like three books within a week and a half and then that was like half of what I read in May. So I feel like I'm back in reading mode and I'm excited for June because I have a lot of good books on my TBR and I'm kind of in like a thriller and romance kind of mood so you'll see a lot of books that reflect that. But before I get into the books that I'm going to be reading, I want to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor, which is Boxu. I talked about Boxu on my channel last month, and for those who maybe didn't see that video, Boxu is a Japanese snack box. I absolutely love it. I've had a subscription for over a year now, and I look forward to it getting delivered every single month. It is amazing. They deliver you snacks that are homemade in Japan, and they ship directly from Japan. And a lot of the companies are really old companies. There are some snacks that are developed specifically for Boxu that are like exclusives that you can't get anywhere else. And there are some companies that are like over 100 years old that develop snacks for Boxu. And also what I really like is that they give you a map of Japan and they show you where everything is coming from. Last month I showed you the Seasons of Japan box which gives you like a little taste of what you can expect from a Boxu subscription, but after you get that initial box then you start getting the boxes with monthly themes. So this month's theme was Tropical Travels and it was such a good box. So first you can see, this just says thank you, but the box is set up like this. It's like fully packed and there are multiples of some items in here, which is really nice because then Andrew and I don't have to fight over who gets to eat them. So with the theme being tropical travels, the majority of items in this box are like kind of fruity or citrusy and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat them. And as you can see here, the majority of items in this box come from Okinawa, which is a like chain of islands. And I actually read one of my favorite books of the year earlier in this year, and it was largely about the lifestyle in Okinawa. So that really intrigues me and I really am looking forward to eating these things. I think the two things that I'm most excited to eat from this box are this like lime cookie and this purple yam cookie. I pretty much love anything made with purple yam, like any kind of dessert food, especially ice cream. So I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy this. And if you're interested in getting your own authentic Japanese snack box from Boxu, you can use my link down below and my code, which is MerrilyKristen10, and that will get you 10% off, which will save you about $47. So again, that will be linked down below. And what I also recently discovered is that you can go onto the Boxy website and you can also order individual snacks if you don't want a full box, which is something that I'm going to be doing soon because like I said in the last video, I've been keeping track of all the things that I really like in the past boxes that we've gotten. And I think I'm just gonna place like a big order for our favorites. So thank you again to Boxu for sponsoring, and now I'm going to get into my TBR. So I think first I'm going to talk about the new releases that I'm excited to read, and then I'll talk about some backlist books because there are a bunch of new things in June and a couple of things that have like just recently come out that I'm excited about. So first on my list is John Green's new book, The Anthropocene Reviewed, and I've been really looking forward to this book. I've been watching Vlogbrothers videos for a long time, and I really enjoy Hank and John's content. Obviously John has been talking a lot about his book, so it's gotten me like really excited for it. It's actually his first nonfiction book, and he it's basically just like a collection of essays and his observations on life and his experience, and it sounds like it's going to be something that I will personally really enjoy. I'm actually kind of hoping that I'll be able to get the audiobook from my library, but if the wait is too long, then I'll probably just read it physically. Then I have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. As I mentioned, I'm really in like a romance and thriller 
reading mode. I think it's because summer is coming and I'm just in the mood for like lighter, fluffier kind of things. New York is kind of opening again, so I've got a lot of things going on in my calendar and it's nice to just have something a little bit lighter to kind of fall into. So this is a sapphic romance and it's actually like a time travel romance between two characters who meet on the Q train in New York City. Again, love books about New York City, so I have been so looking forward to this and also Red, White, and Royal Blue was like one of my favorite books of the year that I read it. It's still one of my favorite books. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to read Casey's next book. Then I want to read The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delilah Harris. This was on my most anticipated books list. I've been really looking forward to it. It's a thriller novel set in the publishing world, which sounds amazing. I mean, I love anything set in the publishing world, so it already has me there. I did hear that the beginning doesn't necessarily read like a thriller. It reads more kind of like a contemporary women's fiction kind of book. And then it's really like the last 30% where the thriller elements come in. So I just think that's important to know going into it so that you're not like expecting something thrilling for the full book, but I'm totally fine with that because I know that I'm going to be invested in whatever's going on at this publishing agency. So I've talked about it before, but it follows a girl who works for a publisher. She's the only black girl that works there. And then another black girl gets hired and she's really excited because she feels like she's going to have like an ally and someone there who understands her and she's not going to be alone anymore. But that girl ends up kind of becoming like the office darling and leaving the original girl behind. Then she starts getting threatening notes on her desk telling her to leave the publishing agency and she like doesn't believe that the, the new girl could be doing that but she also like is starting to wonder if she could be. So sounds kind of like a psychological type thriller and I'm pretty excited to read this one. Then I want to read Sunny Song Will Never Be Famous by Suzanne Park. My friend Emma from Miss Print recommended this book to me. She really loved it. Both of us have really enjoyed books that kind of break down the harmfulness of the internet and like the benefit in living in your real life versus spending all of your time online. And this book follows an influencer named Sunny who goes to a farm. We all have to unplug from their phones and it totally just sounds like something that's like completely up my alley. Emma read it like a month ago and she loved it and as soon as she finished reading it she texted me and was like you have to read this and I completely trust her so I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. Then next book which is a thriller which was also on my anticipated book list is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This one doesn't come out until June 30th so I likely won't finish it until July but I am I'm definitely planning on starting it the day that it comes out. This is a thriller that takes place in like the 1990s before the days of cell phones and there is a girl who gets a ride from somebody from her college campus to head back home but the person that she's sharing the, the ride with his story is like not really adding up and she thinks that he could potentially be the serial killer that was on the campus but she has to survive the night and get home because she doesn't really have a way to get out of the car or to contact anybody and let them know what's going on. I actually just read one of Riley Sager's other books. It was the last book of his that I hadn't read yet and it was so good and now I'm like even more excited to get to read another one of his books. Then not new in June but very recently released. I'm planning on reading Anna Kay Away by Jenny Lee. I really enjoyed Anna Kay. I thought it was so much fun and I thought that Jenny Lee did such an incredible job or, of portraying Manhattan and making everything feel like very true to the Manhattan that I know and love. From like the addresses used to just like situations that some of the characters found themselves in even though they were like very ridiculous it did seem like typical rich kid behavior. I just I really loved it. I thought it was very well written. It's a modern day retelling of Anna Karenina or it's like inspired by it. It's not necessarily like a direct retelling but I really liked all of the changes that she made and how she modernized the story and I'm so excited to find out how it's going to end. Then I want to read The Escape Room by Megan Golden. I read The Night Swim by Megan Golden last year and I really enjoyed it and my friend Cassie has read this book, The Escape Room, and she really enjoyed it. I had texted her to recommend The Night Swim and she was like, oh my god, wait, I read something else by this author. You should read this book. So we were like, that's perfect. We just like swapped recommendations. This one follows characters who work in 
finance and they think that they're doing like a team building activity. They're doing like an escape the room type event. And so it like very quickly becomes clear that it's not a normal team building exercise. Like these people are actually fighting for their lives. And I think that a lot of secrets get revealed and people have to be forthright about the kind of not so great things that they've done in order to climb up the corporate ladder. And it just sounds interesting. So yeah, I have been just devouring thrillers and I can't wait to read this one. Then I would read The Last Story of Nina Lee by Nancy Jun Young Kim. This follows a girl whose mother passes away, so she moves back or like across the country to try to find out what happened to her. So as she is like investigating, she learns that there might be more to why her mother kind of suspiciously died. And I can't wait to find out why that is. And then lastly, I want to read Every Last Fear by Alex Finlay. This follows an NYU student who wakes up after a night of like very hard partying to the news that his entire family has died. They think that it happened from a gas leak while they were vacationing in Mexico, but it seems like the police and the FBI think that there might be more to the story or it was not really an accident, but they won't tell Matt, who is the main character, why that is. So basically Matt wants to find out exactly why his family did die, but it's going to get very dangerous for him in his pursuit of finding out what happened. I think there's like more to it than that, but I don't really want to look into it too much because I do like to be kind of surprised when it comes to thrillers. And, but I've heard really good things about this one from other people on booktube who seem to have enjoyed it. So those are all of the books that I'm planning on reading in June. Hopefully I'll get to even more than the ones that I mentioned because I am feeling like I'm on like a reading kick, which is good. But yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Thank you so much again to Boxu for sponsoring. And again, the link to Boxu and my code will be down in the description. Let me know what you are planning on reading in June, and I will see you guys very soon with my May wrap up. Bye!